Hey up everybody, I'm on part two of my water tanks. Uh, in part one I've shown you where I made the fittings for the tanks. So in this part then, I'm moving on to doing some soldering of the actual tanks and the frame that I'm going to put in there for the top to fit on. So in part one then I said I was going to actually silver solder this together but I think I've changed my mind now. A. I don't think it's needed and B. Silver solder is much more expensive than solder. Soft solder that is. I've had a practice on some of this material to do a butt joint and the butt joint just soft soldered is, is more than adequate in my opinion I can't the metals bending before the solder but I will silver solder the frame that I'm going to make to fit in the top for the top to sit on so I'm going to make a a frame to sit in that top and I'm going to silver solder this frame together this frame won't drop to pieces then while I'm soldering because it'll be silver soldered so I've been busy filing these ends up to make them a nice fit for the soldered joint on both sides and there they're, they're ready now for soldering other, other than cleaning them up so before I do that then I'm going to actually make this frame so if you just want to stick with me then and I'll uh, I'll show you, show you how I'm just going to make this and I, I'm only doing it on the bench it's going to be some uh, accurate bench fitting if you like rather than machining them up so this frame then I've actually got to make it fit up to where the uh, chamfer goes on the tank to the back of the tank and that's that's worked out at 200 and it's going to be 218 long and the width I'm making as accurate as possible so it's a nice fit the width will be 53.3 millimeter
I've just had 10 minutes cleaning silver solder up off this frame I've just soldered and that's all ready for fitting now and that's just a, a tight fit in the top there just to keep everything in, in position and what I've got to do now then is soft solder the whole way around that uh, and while I'm soldering that I'll solder the end pieces in and then it'll be moving on to soldering the bushes in once I, got, once I get those drilled out. Uh, I think I'll do that on next video then. It's took, a bit, it's took a bit longer than I expected to do that. I thought I might have got it all done you know, in, one, in one lump. But apparently not. So uh, I'll see you on part 3 at tanks then. Doing the soldering of the tanks etc. Uh, and I'm going to sign off for now then, and if you've not seen my other videos, I'm making this loco from scratch, take a look at them, uh, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.